Three news that I'd like to share with you right now. It what are you going to snack on up for a chat? Yeah, we can talk still. What do you want to talk about, buddy? What's your real name, Josh? What's yeah. up, buddy? You came here to uh, defend incest to all of us today? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that guy laugh like a lizard, too? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You're trying. I'm trying a little too hard, though. It's getting a little I'm trying too hard? Okay. No, it's okay. No, I, I actually A lot of people a... get really nervous when they talk to me for the first time on Skype, you know? Yeah, I was really anxious, actually. I That's why I had to postpone it until today. I had to prepare myself mentally, physically, everything, you know? Do you have some chocolate chip pancakes to warm yourself up? <laughs> I can't believe you were like talking about wanting to get chocolate chip pancakes for so long. And why do you? Why do you, you ended up on not so getting much? it? Well, that's because they had other. I good don't shit hate to on get. them, but you I do every time I bring it up. You were like, you were like making fun of me for it. Like, what do you want chocolate chip pancakes and chocolate milk for, dude? Like, the fuck, man? Yeah, it's some no, good because you wanted like hot chocolate. And, like, yeah, what's wrong with that, dude? Who hates hot chocolate, with, dude? No, hot chocolate's good, and chocolate chip pancakes are good. It's just the way that you announced it it was like you're like a well i walked in something. looking it's for like it. oh daddy's home finally well, you know dude when you're five seven you know and you're constantly insecure about your age and everything i don't know what i'm supposed to do i don't know how i'm supposed to act right true 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 all right what's up what do you want to talk about buddy Before okay I get so food. yeah it's it's not really well it's it's it might take a while though so like if you're hungry i don't want to have this chat with you if you're on an empty stomach you know no no problem dog what's it's, up <clears throat> we might take a long time um I, I don't know if you've ever talked about it, but like um, I've, I just had because you are this like I don't I wouldn't say like um, like a moral arbiter or anything. You're not like oh I'm just like so ethically sound, but you do I guess argue for the ethics uh, of a lot of things when you argue with people on your stream, and you also um, are trying to be like in some form a voice of reason. You do have this platform okay, so of real, real four thousand. Viewers yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. Wait, real, but real fast before you we talk before about. We, wait, okay, yeah, go, real, go, go, go. Real fast before we get on. All I usually ask people is that they be consistent in their ideas. That's usually all I'm yeah, asking yeah. for. Oh right? no, no, no. There's sure. nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, okay. yeah. But, but you still want to like a lot of the things that you talk about in regards to politics is you know fair this equal that, you know. You're you're trying to make sure that people aren't getting fucked on. Like uh, yesterday, you were ta or the day before, maybe you were talking about. Um, sweatshops, and you you think yeah. that it's it's yeah it's not it's not right, right? So, you know, you do have this, you know, ethical stance on things. So, what I wanted to talk about, I don't know if you've talked about it before, uh -huh. is um, I I hear you say things to people. Uh, for example, the <laughs> like I'm I'm like I'm I'm just trying to get your thoughts on this, right? Uh -huh. I'm not taking sides. So, for example, the fat chick yesterday that you tweeted to, like, <laughs> I, f <laughs> I fall victim to this as well because I sent you some a message on Skype, which was equally as fucked up. So here I am laughing about the same type of shit, mm -hmm. but um, just like, I, I guess how there's such a negative stigma attached to taboo topics such as mental disorders, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you, go, you go and you call people autists. Um, you know, making, you know, derogatory uh, remark for autistic people. And then you tell people, kill yourself, off yourself all the time on your stream, all the time. And yesterday the tweet was um, to the, the fat pregnant girl. I already vomited today is what she said. And then you said, looks like you need to vomit more. So listen, like, <laughs> okay, hold on. There's two so, different things going on here. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Go. Okay. Firstly. When it comes to insulting people, all right, this is how I yeah. typically approach things, okay? This is just like, this is like Internet Bants 101, okay? If somebody is making some superficial bullshit, whatever, random insults, then, you know, I'll do the back. I'll, I'll you know, we'll, we'll go back and forth with that. If somebody decides to go nuclear and starts bringing up, like, my personal life or digs, like, really deep to try to find some insult about some shit I was involved in, like, four years ago, if the gloves are coming off, then we're going as hard as possible, okay? Does that make sense? So she yeah, had been no, dude, tweeting like a bunch said, of shit, like, I'm personal things about, like, my past so at that point, it's like, all right, well, I'm going to, I mean, you're a fat chick in a wheelchair. Like, well, we're going fucking hard here. Like, it's pretty easy at this point, right? That being said, we made up at the end, right? We were friends, right? Or I said, you know, hey, good luck with your pregnancy.
pregnancy because she was pregnant. Um, she'd already had a kid. <laughs> She's got a support system now. I said it's going to be very challenging. Good luck. I know. I'm sure you know this, right? So we're cool. We're cool now. It's all good. Yeah. That's um, not what I was saying at all. Like, okay. As I said, I'm in, not in here of, to, to judge. I'm not. I'm, yeah. I'm just want to. I just want to like pick your brain a little bit. See where you're, you you're stand talking on about these things. Because, comments like autism okay. and whatnot, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I I have mental disorders myself. Like, but I fall victim here by you know saying the same shit. Like I call other people mentally ill. I say, uh, you know, if I get really pissed off, I'll tell someone like, "Do you do just kill yourself? Like you're an inspiration for birth control." Mm -hmm. um, so I'm I'm a victim of this as well when I get really angry. But um, I guess the point I'm I'm trying to get to is you have this platform where you're talking to a lot of you know, probably around 3,000 concurrent viewers average. I don't mm -hmm. know, maybe it's more around two or 4,000. I don't know these days. I haven't checked. So do you feel that as you are in this position to uh, reach out to a lot of people who are generally, I guess, male population, they are sitting around at home, they might have mental disorders of their own, whether it be they're depressed, bullied, whatever. They're trying to like do you want to escape? This is the way they escape through games. Instead of doing other things where, you know, they might do sports and get bullied in real life. Maybe it's because they're gay. Maybe it's because um, they're weak. Maybe it's because they're fat. It doesn't matter what it is. A lot of people turn to games and then um, through games they find Twitch. From Twitch they find you. They like what you say because you get into intellectual debates with uh, people on a range of topics. You talk about politics and you also uh, push for ethical treatment of everyone mm -hmm. so my question is do you feel like you're in a position where uh you should be i guess not pushing the negative stigma of mental disorders and so yeah that's it. okay that's, so there's like, the there's, a, there's a lot of stuff here okay so i'm gonna start with the first thing okay i'm gonna give a defense okay. of using insults like autism and then i'll tell you why it's probably not a good defense then we'll move from there okay so okay. are you familiar i'm just curious because i don't know how long you've watched my shit are you familiar with like my view on like the word faggot no i i haven't watched that actually okay so you've been involved with did you ever play call of duty yeah okay so not, you know how in fps well, communities well, like yeah. even like calling people like i, I can't stand on touch anymore but like calling people like n-word was like kind of common like fps yeah yeah, slang, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah 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 um in online gaming you know faggot used to be that or to some extent you know it still is right that's kind of like the word that everybody yeah. throws around right completely so, agree. i mean i was in the same boat yeah yeah so for the longest time um you know i essentially you right you know i use the word you know call people fags all the time or whatever you know that's how it goes um and then i had i've told the story like a million fucking times on stream so bear with me but um for you i guess because you remember this TLDR, so, dude. TLDR yeah, it. basically i went to poland um for three months in a gaming house and while i was there i was having a conversation with some people and they were talking about somebody that who was like actually gay and i was included in the conversation and they brought up something where they called the dude a faggot and i it made me really uncomfortable uh, cause I, I never really considered somebody using it like as a pejorative because the person is gay. Right. And at that point it started, it like really mind fucked me because I was worried over the next few weeks. Like every time I say faggot, is there some like really fucking retarded dipshit that is listening to my stream that thinks that like, if I say that it's also because I hate gay people. So they like, they find a little bit of commonality. They're like, Oh yeah, dude. Like destiny says all the time. Like, you know, yeah, dude, like fuck fags, you know, <laughs> like, okay, I don't, I don't want this person thinking that I have anything in common with that mindset, you know? So I, pretty much right. i've cut that word out almost completely now i don't use it anymore um very 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 rarely unless i got like really mad or i slip up or whatever but for the most part like i don't really use that word anymore because i don't want i don't want anybody listening to my stream that's yeah, homophobic i'm in the same something. exact same boat actually the only time i said it within the last like i don't know like year i guess besides mm -hmm. with close friends as like a joke um was one time on stream like a few weeks ago when i got really fucking pissed off at someone sure but, yeah, yeah so there so there's thing. that's the first thing okay so this this gets into some very strange areas where a lot of people might not see the nuance, um, but it does exist. But I, but and then, I'll, but I don't think this is a good defense. But I'll, but I'll give you the defense anyway, right? So words like faggot are. The, the way that this word works, and everybody that uses this word is going to get mad, but it's a fact, okay? And, and if, you, if you're honest with yourself, you know it's a fact. Faggot works because we associate gay with bad, right? 
That's yes. where that. That's why that word works as an insult. Like you don't want to be a faggot, right? And what are the other words going on? You don't want to be a sissy. You don't want to be a little pussy. Don't be a little girl. Don't be a little gay fuck, right? Don't be a little be right. Like these are all. It's very obvious, right? Why does why does faggot work as an insult? It's not this. We we don't live in a fantasy land where it's completely it's dissociated from being homosexual. Being gay right? is a stigma. Exactly right. That's that's more or less. It's where that word comes from, right? And yeah. in today's society, we don't necessarily want to have it, or, or, or we don't at all want to associate gay with bad. Right, like that's right. we don't want that anymore, right? Because we want you know equal rights for every person, or yeah. at least most of us do. Um, I can't speak for Trump supporters, I guess, <clears throat> but um, for the most part, we want <laughs> you know like equal rights for every person. We don't want to be so it's you don't really want to use words that disparage certain groups of people, right? So yeah. one could use this argument. Okay, now I don't think it's a great argument, but one could use the argument that words like calling somebody retarded or a downy or autistic is okay because these are intrinsically negative things like if somebody calls you retarded well it's bad to be retarded not that retarded people are necessarily bad but this is a bad thing so like that's kind of how that word can function i don't know if that's the greatest way to do it because people that are autistic or are do suffer actual mental ailments i don't know if it's right to necessarily paint them in a bad light you know there are a lot of people especially with asd that are fully functional in the real world like there's you've probably met people and i'm sure you know this if you have mental health issues i'm sure everybody's met people who are who have asd who you wouldn't even know you don't even know because they've worked so hard they're, on they're high on functioning it's, yeah they, it's well, high, high high functioning autism yeah, and, uh, well, not, not even like aspect for yeah, example. sure. And not even so much like they just have like a special form of, of, of autism, but they've worked a lot, you know, through their life to make it so that they can have conversations in public and talk to people and be, you know, well functioning. They didn't just get lucky. It was a lot of work that went into it. Um, right. So, so my my initial question is, mm -hmm. how you're, do you justify you're using these push, words? You're pushing that negative stigma. So with, yeah, no, I with agree. Faggot, so you, like, you don't push that. But with autism, with retarded, with downy. Mm hmm. It, it's still pushing that type of stigma. No, yeah, and, and, I, and you know, I agree. That's I, why I don't think I don't think that defense is a good defense of it. But then, like, this is the final issue, right? This is the problem. This is what makes it really, okay. really, really hard. And you'll know this as well as anybody. To, and it's not it's not the best defense. But like, when you're in a community of people that talk a certain way and use a certain type of insult, it seems like the only way to communicate with them. This might sound a little bit juvenile, though, is to use their language to some extent. Right. Like imagine you're in a CSGO game or you're in a game of Overwatch and somebody's, you know, being really retarded. Like and you say, like, oh, my gosh, like your level of intellect is just so far below mine. Like, I can't even believe that you would <laughs> act like such a fool in this game. Like your choices are just so suboptimal. Like it's impossible to believe that anybody could continually choose to make the same mistakes that you do over and over again. Right. Like versus just being like, oh, you fucking faggot. Right. Like these these <laughs> kinds of insults don't really work because if you're not communicating with them with the vernacular that they use and understand as insults, you kind of have no impact, you know. So it's, it's really hard to find that line i don't think i could give you like a well-reasoned intellectual defense of using you know words like retarded or autism as a pejorative but oh my god it's so hard right you right how many times like when you're talking to someone and like you really just want to like lay into them and you know that like half the words are probably not good words to use but it's like it's, that's how they talk you know what i mean yeah no i i understand your your side and i yeah. i'm like i said i do the same thing mm -hmm. and i was just wondering what your opinion on like as your position of some a voice that's heard right you have yeah. this platform people listen to you and this is you know these are taboo topics people don't talk about them and there's sure. a negative stigma attached to everything like uh depression for example and there's a lot of people that are uh, ignorant out there to these issues they're they just aren't educated on the subject and they think like oh it's a super bad thing and um people are just like oh you know someone who might have depression they're just like they're faking it they just feel sad you know everyone feels sad just get on with it but it's like well, actually, there's like a lot more to it than that. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's a whole list of mental disorders. There's alcohol, substance abuse, anxiety, uh, bipolar um, disorder, depression, eating disorders, which the fat chick yesterday, probably. I don't know. That's what you're <laughs> that's what no, you yeah. were pointing out. No, no, no. At. I think there's... she threw up because of morning sickness. It wasn't because of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I know what you mean. I guess like, um, it's a hard like it's learning. A hard... Disability. Yeah. It's a hard line to walk. Like, I, I, if somebody had, if somebody sent me, like, this is a really great list of words to use in place of these that don't, like, you know, disparage certain groups of people. I mean, I would do it if I had the ability to switch, but fuck, dude, it's hard. I, I mean, this is speaking to some, to some degree to my juvenility, juvenileness. I don't know. There's a word I'm looking for, there, right? To, to, to my being juvenile. But, like, when somebody pisses you off and you're, like, trying to, like, you know, like, you're mad at like, this fucking idiot. I guess, like, you can only say fuck so many times, like, this dumb fuck, fuck wad, fucking idiot, so Fucker. So this is this is you speaking to an individual as an individual, but mm -hmm. um, 
what if you remove yourself from that situation? You're talking to the individual in front of an audience where the audience might understand, uh, you know, more language and, and different ideas as opposed to the vernacular you said of them just saying like, oh, you fucking retarded piece of shit, cocksucker, motherfucker. Wait, like, what do you mean? Like, you're... So I guess the the way I'm looking at it is if I'm playing CS and I'm streaming and I'm dealing with someone who's completely fucking retarded. <laughs> but not actually retarded. <laughs> but not actually retarded. I will I will talk to my stream in a different way and I'll like, okay, someone in chat will trigger me and I'll call them fucking retarded too because they can't grasp such a simple concept. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I sit there and I explain, you know, how it's, you know, inefficient. This, this play is inefficient. It's uh, st stupid. It's lazy. It's um, they're trivializing trivializing everything they're doing. They're just making it seem like, oh, this isn't as important as it actually is because of you know some other thing that they've going that got going on. Maybe they're just insecure. Maybe they're you know they've got other things going on in their lives. They can't just be like, oh yeah, I fucked up, or oh yeah, this is stupid. I should try harder. Um, I guess what it comes down to is. Pushing the stigma, like, do you do you feel like streamers or yourself in general should kind of try to put a stop to this and change the language a little bit? I mean, if it was possible to do that, I think that yeah. I guess like I mean like like I said, if you had if there were like replacement words, this sounds so stupid, but I mean like I feel I mean you understand it, right? You're part of the community. Like if if there were better words to reach for that had the same impact on your audience. And the people in game and yourself. I mean, like I would switch out in a heartbeat. Can you? Yeah. Can you think of? Do you have like a good solution? Baby brains. What? Baby, Baby brains. Brain? <laughs> <laughs> do you Do you really think? Like, if you're on like a CS:GO map and some dude fucks up your shot, like, what are you? Baby brains. Come on, like. Yeah. What the fuck? Why not? <laughs> okay. So, um, part of the reason why I brought this up was uh -huh. like I was looking through the the Twitter feed mentions and everything. And people were having those personal attacks at you, and I oh, I saw God, that yeah. uh, Reddit post that you made, and uh, you know, there's a situation that you regret uh, tremendously, and, and I think it's because you were ignorant to, um, I guess, mental disorders at the time. It was you know the the suicide story with sure. your friend, yeah, and where I encouraged and advocated but, and told him that I hope he killed himself. Apparently, is the story that goes well, around, yeah. That's, I mean, I read what you wrote, and what you said was, um, he, he, basically, your friend was looking for a reason to to cling on to life, and you, you're just like, it's your option, or like it's it's completely your decision. You you make it up. Um, you do yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't feel know. like, but I feel like, um, so you were ignorant in that situation. You didn't know a lot about uh, mental disorder. You didn't know about maybe life in general. Maybe like I don't know how old you were at the time. So. I guess what I'm saying we're trying to get back to or pull this discussion to is there are a lot of people out there that are completely ignorant to a lot of mental disorders, including, you know, suicide and depression and other shit, things that lead yeah. to suicide. So it could be alcohol and substance abuse. Um, do you feel like you could make an impact or if other streamers should try to make more of an impact at kind of pushing this in in our like maybe not the same as actors or other celebrities and like musicians and shit because they just have like this massive demographic right but mm -hmm. we have more of like a, a niche mar niche niche market whatever the fuck so we have we have this a certain demographic it's mainly male it's mainly this it's mainly that um so i i feel like we have a lot of people that turn to games and twitch as an escape from real life bullshit and they might not know that, you know, they might be dealing with some of these issues and that other people could be dealing with them as well. And they're not alone. It could be that they shouldn't feel shitty about the things that they're going through. It could be that maybe they have a friend that's looking uh, to reach out to someone or to reach out to them and they just don't know how to deal with it. Do you feel like we're in a position that we should be trying to make more of an impact? Um. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I mean, yeah, you definitely should. This is like, this is a very, very, very difficult line to walk because you're, as, as somebody that creates content and has influence over the culture that surrounds you and the community that surrounds you, you have to constantly be like, you have to be really careful not to come off as too preachy. Does that make sense? 
Yeah. So like if you've, I don't, again, I don't know how long you follow me for, but like my views have changed dramatically over the past four to five years. But all throughout those changes, like I've been very clear. You never have to guess what my view on a particular topic is, right? I don't do some bullshit where I see some retarded shit and then walk it back the next day because I'm scared of losing a sponsor because I've got no fucking spine, right? No offense to anybody out there dealing with spinal cord issues or who's <laughs> lacking spine, right? But like, so like, it's very clear. Like I, I say what I mean. So I feel like I have a lot of credibility with my audience. I think that you have to be careful sometimes and I'm not trying to give an excuse, right? I'm just saying in terms of how everybody else is, you have to be careful sometimes not to ask for too big of a change. I like to, I like to, to move the changes like smallly like slowly at a time like like i still say words like autistic and retard today but it wouldn't surprise me if a year from now i tried to cut that out almost completely right it wouldn't surprise me if a couple years from now i stopped saying kill yourself or other things completely right but you want people to come along with you for the ride you want people to follow you to follow your thought process to agree with what you're saying um and you want to feel authentic the entire time doing it. You don't want to give people the idea that, you know, like, oh, well, this guy's here and he's asking us to You're change not this high and every mighty single. Person. Yeah, or, yeah, or better, or that this guy's asking us to change everything, you know? I think that we're in a unique position and that we carry more credibility because we are part of the community. Like, I can come out and talk about certain issues, like, um, you know, like, this needs to not happen or this is wrong. And I have a lot of credibility because obviously I'm part of this fucking industry and I've been here since day one with some of the most extreme views on day one, as opposed to getting people like Anita Sarkis occasion that are total outsiders coming in and trying to tell you what to do like i think that feels a lot different you know yeah um, um i but yeah i mean i, we, I, I, I agree like, ultimately with what you're saying like that we do have a lot of influence and that maybe some of that could be leveraged a little bit better i kind of try to do it with my political conversations it's one of the reasons why i carry them on so much even though it's painstakingly fucking like oh god dude some of these combos are really fucking hard to have but um part of the reason yeah. i try it is because i do get emails from people that are not from the other side but are that are on the wall a lot of like hey dustin like i never thought about this thing before you know like i agree with this or whatever so yeah so i mean i, I was just mainly just asking your opinion it, it, i wasn't trying to argue or drive a point across because like i said i do call people retarded i i mm -hmm. do sometimes like if i get really pissed off i'll say other things that are equally as fucked up um, I was just wondering how you felt your insults would resonate with your following um, r with regards to the negative stigmas attached to a lot of these these issues and conditions. Sure. Um, because, I mean, as as a streamer as well, I get people messaging me all the time about like, I'm, I don't I don't sit there and try to be this high and mighty person pushing everything all the time. Um, I donate a little bit to charity and I talk a little bit about um, my issues. I have depression, I have uh, mm -hmm. anger issues. I, I just list it there, like I just write about it or I make a video about it. I don't go into detail. I don't sit there like trying to preach or anything like that. It's just, it's there. And then people will come to me and they'll send me like uh, private messages or tweets or even in donation messages, they'll share their story and they'll say like um, how, how I was able to help um, or they'll, they'll ask for advice like I had a, a 15 or 16 year old kid uh sent me a twitch deathmatch uh <laughs> deathmatch dm yesterday and basically you know told me his uh his story and asked for advice like he he was lost he didn't know where to go and he was looking for advice on how to get to the next steps and he was saying like he was about to lose internet like his his dad was sure. gonna take everything away and he was just basically last minute reaching out type of thing and you know it's not like every day that I get these messages, but when you do get these messages that people are, are reaching out and they need the help, like I'll, I'll take the time and respond to it. And other people that, you know, are going through rough patches or just came out of a rough patch or something. And I was a, a part of their lives during that, you know, they, they never sit, sit there and talk in my chat. Like mm -hmm. they're complete lurkers, you know, maybe they're not even sub to me. They just like load up my stream and they have chat closed and they just watch it because they are able to relate to me or they um, find some sort of uh, comfort in the fact that someone else is getting so completely triggered and pissed off that they're just completely retarded people out there, right? Sure. There I go again. I, so yeah. I think, I I think was it's just, really important when you're talking about these things. I think that I think it's important to have serious discussions on them. Um, more more so even than the language itself, although the language is a thing, but I think that having the conversations is really important. One thing that a lot of people don't realize um, is that like the, the words themselves are kind of powerful, but I think that who says them means a lot too. Um, 
let me, let me give like a, let me give two examples of this right there's um there's a guy i never thought of this before okay but there, i've got a local radio host chris baker he's a massive fucking piece of shit i live in nebraska so all of our radio hosts are very 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 right-leaning um you know he hates gay oh maybe he doesn't hate gay people but he makes fun of them constantly you know he purposely misgenders transgendered people you know calls you know people that want to be a woman you know calls them he's he does everything he can right is that where the did you assume my gender meme came from i don't even no, because I hate that fucking meme and I hate the dad meme where but, um, all the fucking Twitch chat. Oh, dad. this guy did. This guy didn't invent a meme or anything. No, no, no. I, I don't think I yeah. did. But but regardless, like w when I was listening to the radio one time, um, he made a joke about how um some role it opened or some job position it opened up in like some gay um prison it, for um and I think it was a woman's prison and he said something along the lines like I'd like to be in charge of the lesbian you know prison <laughs> like and he made a joke right. and I remember when he made that joke, dude, I felt really uncomfortable listening to it and it was strange because i was like i was taken aback for a second and i was like this kind of sounds like a joke that i would make right but then i realized <laughs> the reason why i was so uncomfortable listening to it is because he was making that joke but he fucking hates gay people so it just sounded a million times worse coming from him kind of on the flip side do you think that it's okay for white people to do blackface like dress up as black people and impersonate them for humor or whatever i i mean context matters for this point and the last point you made so uh, it, i mean pro but generally probably not it's probably a bad thing right probably a bad thing it, it, so i mean it does, depends on your your social circle sure why is it okay for dave Chappelle to do whiteface right you're absolutely right there's so, a double but standard it, there. It kind of um, seems, but it's not even a double standard it seems like a double standard like well maybe it's okay because he's black and we're white right it seems like a double standard but i think the important thing there isn't that you know it's a black guy making fun of a white guy so it's punching up or whatever you know sjw terms you want to use right i think the important thing is that i don't think dave Chappelle actually hates white people I don't think he does. So when he does his white face shit, it's funny as fuck. And we laugh at it, you know, because it's because it is funny. Yeah. white people. But I don't think he like hates white people. Right. On the flip side, if you had like um, like uh, Jesse Jackson or uh, or like an Antifa protester or some like very, very um, um, SJW esque black person doing white face in a very derogatory way, holding up like white genocide signs and shit, that probably wouldn't be okay, right? Like, I think you could, I think you could have a legit thing. Like, dude, you actually hate white people. You can't wear white face. This is some bullshit. This is some racist ass bullshit, dude. You need to cut it the fuck out, right? I think that the person behind who's saying it, I think, is really, really, really important. So, like, as much as I can, even Would though you I not say the audience is equally as important. Um, well, the audience, I mean, Dave Chappelle's audience, that, yeah, the audience yeah. understanding it is really important. Th that's why I don't say things like faggot at all anymore, even though I think most of my people know that I don't hate gay people. I try not to say it at all, but like, I think that. That's why I say, like, I think it's important as often as possible to have conversations about, like, mental health issues and whatnot. So that it, at the very least, even though maybe you don't have a good valid defense of saying the words, at least people know, like, I don't think depression is just like your dog tied and now I have depression or depressed people are retarded and need to pull themselves up by their bootstraps, you know, or like shit like that. At least people know that you don't have those types of thoughts, you know? Right. I agree. Um, but yeah, fuck, I'm really hungry. I got to eat. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? No, I, was, I just wanted to pick your brains and see your opinion on it. Uh, I wasn't driving a point. I wasn't trying to be a high, high and mighty guy. I, sure. I was just looking on your stance. All right. Well, hey, I love you, buddy. I'll talk to you anytime you want in the future, okay? I gotta eat soon. <laughs> All right. Later. All right, be careful. Bye. Okay, um, fuck, I want to address this argument real fast. Destiny, this is a bad argument. There is no history with whiteface. So you have to be careful. If you're very, very left-leaning, very oftentimes you want to reach into two things. You want to reach into history and you want to address class, right? You have to be very careful because individuals do not perceive history and individuals do not perceive class, okay? Let me give you an example. If you have a white person in a predominantly black area, that white person can experience racism, authentic racism, right? In every sense of the word. Um, he could be disadvantaged in his groups of friends. He could be disadvantaged economically and he could be disadvantaged in school, right? He could experience, in every sense of the word, racism, right? Now, most people don't perceive class racism of black people against white people. I don't think any reasonable person would say that white people experience uh, racism to the same degree that black people do as classes, but as an individual, you do not experience things as a group of people, right? Um, so when you talk about things like history, right, if a white person sees, um, if a white person sees, um, you know, like a black person that hates white people doing whiteface, that person might feel really uncomfortable and really offended. It's not on that person to understand, to have all of the history of all of the culture enter his mind at that point of time so that he could be an objective observer positioned above all of society and history as a four-dimensional plane, right? As the aliens in um, Interstellar, right? Because that's not how we perceive things as individuals. I think it's really, really important to understand that sometimes people on the left oftentimes forget that individuals don't perceive entire 
um, entire classes of struggle, right? This is a big reason why... Um, why Hillary lost the election, right? And her failure to address people that were being left behind by the by the globalist free trade, free immigration, not free immigration, but by the globalist um, free trade, um, high immigration economy, right? Even though everybody in general was winning, they never really addressed the people that were losing, right? And just expected them to kind of be along for the ride, you know? Um, I understand the point you're making, but I would stand by it applying to blackface specifically. People know that association. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I've never seen a white person that I understand do it, but like, and, and it sounds it sounds bad to say. I guess you get kind of a visceral reaction culturally just thinking about it. But like, I think could Louis C.K. do like a funny blackface skit? You know, I think he could. And, and I don't think that, I, and I think it's possible to see that and not perceive it as being like horribly racist. Like, if you had like Louis C.K. and Dave Chappelle doing a skit together where they were doing like white face and blackface, or like somebody like George Carlin, I think. Um, that, but George Carlin it was very, very, very edgy. So maybe people would interpret that as racist. I'm not sure. I don't think George Carlin was racist at all, though. Um, although he had obviously differing views of modern language. George Carlin, I don't think George Carlin was racist, though. I don't think so, right? I'm thinking back to like his last like two or three skits. I really don't think so, no? Um, oof, I don't think so. He was a big believer in like the big government and the spooky like Illuminati class, like ruling everything and people getting fucked over and disenfranchised, right? But, um,. What about Tropic Thunder, Destiny? Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know his personal stance on, like, black people, so I'm not sure. But um, isn't the joke about blackface is that you are doing blackface? Well, I mean, but you could make it more than that. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I would have to see it. I don't know. That's, it's an interesting question to think about. But um, 